This is the Lex Solar PV Large, our experiment system for the basics of photovoltaics. The system consists of two deposits with numerous components for carrying out various experiments. We will now perform an experiment on a very practice relevant topic about the shading of solar cells. To do this, we first need our base unit, which the individual modules can be plugged into and electrically connected. Furthermore, we use a diode in the experiment. Of course, we can't forget the solar cells. We use three cells that we wire up to a series circuit. With that, we have gathered together almost all the necessary components for the experiment. We now only need a measuring device, in this case a digital multimeter, and cables. First, the solar cells are attached to the base unit. You should definitely pay attention to the correct polarity. The construction of the experiment is written in detail in the accompanying instructions, so nothing can go wrong. After we have connected the solar cells, the multimeter is then connected. The multimeter is connected in series to the circuit because we want to measure the current flow through the solar cells. Let's just see what happens when we darken one of the solar cells. A typical guess that's expressed is that the current decreases by one third. In fact, however, the current almost completely decreases to zero. The reason for this is that the darkened solar cell acts as a diode in the reverse direction. By the high resistance of the solar cell in a darkened case, the current flow is almost interrupted. Now we turn a diode parallel to the solar cell and see what happens. When we darken the solar cell, the current remains almost constant. This is because the current flow bypasses the darkened solar cell through the diode. In practice, this takes place through so-called bypass diodes. This ensures that for a series circuit of solar cells, the shading of a solar cell does not lead to a complete failure of the system. Of course, with the experiment system, other numerous experiments can be performed. As a consumer, you can, for example, use a resistor and as another source, a solar module is included. With the attached potentiometer, experiments on the IV characteristics of solar cells can be performed. The transmission of light can be examined with the help of coloured discs. The lighting module allows for experiments such as the dependence on illuminance to be carried out. The efficiency of a solar cell can be determined with the help of the gear motor module. Contained on the accompanying CD are instructions for students and teachers as well as detailed background information. We hope you have fun experimenting!